Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever time you see this video. This is Miss Cassandra at Gaston Your Freedom School. Now, I'm going to put a picture somewhere on the screen of a textured sensory board that I saw online. Now, I know I'm right up under this light, so I probably look crazy, but so I saw, I was inspired by a texture board online. Looked at the price of that thing and it was $502 for a four by six texture board. Now, you know, I'm all about saving money. So I wasn't going to pay that. So I said, look, I can make my own. So if you can see on the picture, there are 12 panels. Now, I'm not going to do 12 panels. I'm going to do six because I want to be able to take our texture board inside and outside. It's going to be a part of our sensory garden also. And then it's going to go in our chill room um, here at the school, Gastonia Freedom School. So what I've done, I found a picture that I had got from the thrift store that I'm going to use for my frame. I'm not going to use this side. I'm going to use this side. And this is going to be my frame for my texture. My actual board that's going to be mobile. And I'm going to use for my textures, I'm going to use some picture, some old painting canvases that I had from some paint parties, I'm gonna use these, and I'm gonna use this side. And I've already started, I've put some textures in one of these, and I'm gonna sand this down, and then I'm gonna place the panels in my board. It's gonna go like this. Like this, I don't know which way it's gonna be best, but when I get all the textures made, I will let you see how it's gonna be. So stay tuned. So I'm back. I got a lot of work done. So I've glued my well, I've glued my textures in. This is a part of a, um, a yoga mat. That's what this is. This is a piece of linoleum that goes on a kitchen or bathroom floor. Very smooth texture. I think the kids would love that. This texture here are some, um, some housings for some bullets that I used at the shooting range, and I think the kids will really enjoy feeling that texture. This is a piece of carpet square that I cut out of an old rug. This piece is, uh, has some binding for some old notebooks that some people donated and um, as you can see, I used my old painting canvases that I had, sanded these down really nice. And on this canvas, I have some corks that I used some um, Gorilla Glue, glued these in, and it's a nice, uh, rough and kind of a smooth texture. I think the kids will really enjoy feeling that. And if, if this texture board is placed in the chill room, it will help the children to calm down. They can just lay on the floor and they can feel the textures. That's why I wanted the board to be mobile. And so my next uh, part that I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, glue these down in the board, in the in the frame, and I'm gonna space them. I'm going to 
uh, put some clear coating on these. So when we do take it outside in our sensory garden, it will, it won't you know, mess up with the weather. And so that's where I am. So. Okay guys, here is the finished product. This is my textured sensory board. Of course, I painted it blue. It's lightweight, it's mobile. I can put it in the chill room or take it outside or take it wherever. Like I said, these are casings for ammunition. This is a um, yoga mat piece. This is a piece of linoleum tile. This is a carpet square. These are corks and these are notebook binder things. And so, as opposed to $501 online for a textured sensory board, this one cost $0 out of things that I had laying around. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, it was fun. And what's more fun is that I can change these out. I have room to make more um, with the frame sticking out with a little got a little another inch or so. I can change the textures. I can put some more textures here and change those out. So that's that.